Hello, I'm here to share a little bit of information about my experience working in a deli. I've worked in a deli for about a year and a half, which isn't a whole lot of time. And my experience is, you know, I went from structured work environment, uh, where even in school, we were structured. To start school at the same time every day, study, you know, and then jobs. We come in, we learn a job, we pretty much just straight do that job. Um, what I found in a deli is forget about structure, it's ADD, it's all over the place, man. You're in one section, traditional, you're in the subs, you're in the hot case, you're all over the place. And from what I've learned. Here's just a few things, if everybody can maybe get on board with it, it would help everybody out in the deli, in the subs. For example, we've got these wrapping papers for the subs. You wrap the sandwich in the, su in the paper. Now, that is a wrapping paper. It's not a cutting board. So, if you can try not to cut, say you're doing the meat for the filly, or chopping up the veggies for the filly, and you're using the wrapping paper as a cutting paper, just keep in mind that that paper's going to start to dissolve, and it's going to get into people's food. And so we don't want that to happen. And everything I say here, check with the supervisors too. Although they are so busy, do they have time to even, you know, go through some of the basics? But you will see, you should see that now the paper's all chewed up. So, and then there's issues about the cutting board. It's like, well, it's a cutting board. You clean it with the towel. They call it a wipe all towel that, you know, that comes in a box. And, you know, you pull out a piece. We use it to clean the slicers and stuff with. Clean the cutting board with the wipe all. And then we have another thing where we're having people take the cutting knives that we cut with the subs. This is mainly in the sub department um, that I've mostly worked in, you know, although I'm learning some other departments, mostly it's subs. So they take the knife that you cut the bread with, and then they take the sharp side down and they're scraping it across the cutting board, okay? I have had one supervisor tell me several times that it dulls the blade of that cutting knife. And I think that supervisor has mentioned it to the other workers as well. But we keep seeing people keep doing that. And we would really like it if people in the sub department can just at least do a couple of things, you know, more like regulation, like don't chew up the wrapping paper with cutting your meat and stuff. Don't turn your knife with the cutting side down on the cutting board. Use the wipe all to clean the cutting board and put your hand down to catch all the stuff and then throw it in the trash course when I first started they were teaching us that that will go a long way to get people to stop telling you you're doing it wrong every single day you're side by side with these people and then you get people that take a stack of wrapping paper then they start cutting on that and then you've got them cutting through four or five wrapping papers in the sub department we need to have flow. And when we ask customers questions, now, of course, we're not really supposed to be asking them questions because the idea is to move along quickly. Don't ask them if they want it toasted. Don't ask them if they want their chicken tenders all tossed in whatever sauce. Don't ask them questions. Just hurry up, get them done, and move them out. You know, but one of the problems we run into is the customers. Once we're putting things together, 
Then they say, oh, well, I wanted that. And you didn't ask me first. And then now we have to dismantle the sandwich or start over. So if we ask them lots of questions up front, and we're trying to help them and guide them to get them what they want, because we want to get them what they want exactly how they want it done, and as quickly and as efficiently as possible, right? But then, you know, if you don't ask them some of these questions, like it's one lady she was telling this other lady do not ask all kinds of questions blah 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 next customer come was an old lady she had no idea i don't know what to do i don't know what the food is i don't know how to do anything so we had to guide the customer try to help her to get what she wanted and people they want things differently uh, they want the cheese first on the bread or they want the to bread toasted or they want certain things cut or, you know, so the deli department is a custom department where we're pretty much just making it what they want, how they want to do it, which means we're going to have to ask them some questions because we're face to face with these people, you know, and they're giving us specific instructions of how they want it done. So if we don't ask them any questions, then it winds up, we find ourselves having to go back and either start over or dismantle their sandwich and try it again. So I'm thinking we sure need to do everything we can to have flow. If we have flow without obstructions, flow moves everything along faster and more efficiency and helps the customer. We want to help them. We want them to be happy. We want them to love their sandwich, you know, we don't want them to feel like, okay, come on, hurry up, we'll go, we got a line, let's go, move, hurry up. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to linger and talk with the customers a whole lot either, although sometimes that happens, you know, when we've got a line going and so on. But we are trying to help people as quickly and as efficiently as possible, you know, with we want them to have a good experience. So just basic things in the deli, you know, asking a lot of questions is essential and it, there's no dumb questions. You know, if you don't know that you're not supposed to put meat on a cheese slicer, uh, ask somebody, which slicer should I use for this meat? And then vice versa with the cheese, you know, kind of look around, ask we are running around with our heads cut off like like chickens with our heads cut off. We're looking for sub kits. We're looking for cheese. We have to keep cutting sub kits and cheese at about three o'clock every day because uh, we run out. But it, there's also the supervisors are crunching the numbers and they don't want to be wasting all kinds of food either. So they're really trying to cut back on that. So it gets to be, we're running around for things, you know. The front substations are not loaded with the sub kits and the cheese at a certain time. And it could be because they don't have enough people. Sometimes people call out. Sometimes we're just so crazy busy that we can't get to stuff a lot of times. If you're in the traditional as soon as you're done with cutting the meat for a person, say thank you. The next person that comes up, tell them, just one second, I got to put this away. We do need to put things away right away, and then we are on top of that. We are really on top of that. All of us are. We're just like, hey, this needs to be put away right now. Hey, this needs to be put away. We're all on top of that. But it's just getting into at least some habits that would be helpful in the deli. You know, um... Ask supervisors, if people don't agree with me, what I'm saying here, ask people that are seniors in that department, uh, you know, if we can all kind of agree on at least some things, it would help the flow of the whole department a lot better. And then with the, uh, the, the substation, when you're cutting, you know, a sandwich, let's say you're squeezing using the knife to squish down the sandwich so that you could squeeze it together, right? You don't 
we're we we are wearing cutting gloves all of us we have to and obviously we wash our hands and put hair nets and cut, uh, cutting gloves those are routines that we do not break from that's not a personal choice that is a regulation okay there are certain regulations we've got to have in the deli things that we have to do um one of them is you don't want to put the sharp side up and then put your cutting glove on top of the sharp side. We just do not do that, okay? Even if you're wearing a cutting glove, that you just don't do that. You turn the sharp side down and squish it down in the sandwich and squish the sandwich and fold the sand, you know, get it. And then when you're using scissors in the deli and cutting open the meat package, never put the scissors facing you. Because it will slip and and come flying and hit you. Okay? Scissors have to be going out, away from you. That's a basic thing. I mean, back in grade school, we had arts and crafts. And we had those little scissors with rounded edges. <laughs> no sharp edges. And we were taught as children, this is how you do scissors. If you... Maybe didn't learn a lot of lessons growing up. Uh, we come from so many different backgrounds. Maybe you're, you're you're part of like 10 or 15 kids or something. And you didn't get taught anything or very little. There's too many kids running around. We've got people with ADHD, including me. I had ADHD in school and I had to take Ritalin and all that other Basically, it's not a learning disability. I was just bored with school. I can learn, especially if I'm motivated and interested in something, I'll learn it. Um, things that I am not interested in, it's not going to really hold my attention, and I'm just bored, and I'm just trying to get through it, you know? So we've got people from all backgrounds, all ages, all experiences or lack of experience or whatever. But we have some basics in the deli. So if we can all just kind of try to be similar in how we perform in the subs and how we perform in the traditional area, if, if we could all just kind of be pretty consistent that would help like a lot and people wouldn't be nagging at you and they wouldn't be telling you over and over again don't do that don't do that bosses ask a boss they get tired of telling us the same thing over and over again yes i've made some mistakes and i have to own up to them even at my age i am i can turn into a teenager and roll my eyes sometimes sometimes some people make it feel like they're a prison warden and we're just inmates. Inmates are idiots. Inmates are stupid people. And this one's the warden. It's, and he or she is looking over. These are a bunch of stupid inmates. We don't want to be stupid inmates. We are human beings. We have families. We are going to college. We are pay, paying our bills. We're learning something. You know, whatever reason why we're there working in the deli, you know, if we can just try to raise our game even just a little bit. And yes, I am guilty. I admit, okay, I have to really tighten myself up here. This is something that it takes time to adapt and adjust to, like, this is an experience I've never had before, and I'm doing things that I've never had to do before. You know, like, I don't know, like, I find myself saying, golly, I've got to just keep my mouth shut a lot. <laughs> That's, <laughs> I've never had to do that. I've always been able to just speak, but no, you've kind of got to watch don't say anything. Say as little as possible. When I first got there in the deli, I was like, God, these people don't talk. They don't talk a lot. You know, I'm like, they just keep quiet. 
And I'm just like, wow, I've never seen anything like that before. People hardly talk. Or, you know, can they hear okay? Or they have earplugs in? Or, I, you know, you just kind of learn that these people aren't talking a whole lot because you can't really sit there and just BS with people either. The bosses will get mad at you. And there is lots of work to do. And we're busy. And we just can't sit there and chit-chat. You know, um, break time, chit-chat. Uh, before you clock in, if you guys are all waiting to clock in, chit chat for a minute. But once you hit that clock, boom, you got to go, man. Okay, no more social. I'm guilty. I get in trouble. I, you know, took a couple of seconds to talk with a coworker and show him a picture he wanted to see of a shark. And I'm like, oh, you know, I'm in trouble. He's in trouble. We're all in trouble. <laughs> you know, it's like. You know, it's it's a fast-moving department. Fast-moving. And people will show you. They'll give you some training. And it seems like a lot of us are told five different ways to do something. Well, somebody told me to do it this way. Now you're telling me to do it this way. And then another person comes along and tells me to do it another way. And it's like, can we kind of settle on something, you know? Can we all settle? Like, would we all agree? Maybe all the people that work in the deli, can we agree not to drag our knife across the table? Can we all agree on one thing? Can we all agree on not grinding up the wrapping paper, using the wrapping paper as a cutting board, and then cleaning the cutting board? And then there's a, you know, do you want to flip the cu cutting board at like three o'clock when we close down the back substation so that we're all crammed in the front and we're all in each other's face and knocking the glasses off. You know, we're reaching for something and we're like this close, you know, like, you know, and it's like, holy crud, you know, it gets crazy busy. But can we agree on at least some things, all of us? Can we agree? agree? Now, if we flip that cutting board, we wipe it down. We make sure it's all clean and ready, you know, to go. It, it They do wash it and everything every day. And uh, so it's, you know, regulation sanitary standards. So we flip it. and But then I haven't seen that happening lately either. It, when I first started, it was happening a lot. So, I mean, this is the point, like, I'm trying to make, can we all agree at least on some things, you know, like, so we're all kind of doing the same thing. Like we're not using the blade of the knife to scrape it across the cutting board. We're not taking the uh, wrapping paper and cutting, shredding it to get it in people's food, you know, use the cutting board for that. I mean, can we all agree at least on some things instead of, you know, all this different, 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 different. That makes the department a bit frustrating for everybody. Like everybody. We're seeing stuff and you got to keep your mouth shut. Just let them do it wrong. Just don't say anything. Let them do it wrong. Is it driving us nuts to see people doing things wrong over and over and over again? Like, I don't know. We just need to agree at least collectively, the whole department, we need to agree all on the same things. It's a busy department. We can't even get together and have meetings with all the employees because we're all too busy. And, you know, do you want to come in an hour early for a meeting? Do you want to stay an hour late for a meeting? Do you want to watch videos like this or anything? You know, do you have time? Do you have interest? We're all busy. Our personal lives, we're busy in doing things, going to school, whatever. Um, I just, I just think, you know, working in a deli is a whole different thing. It's real fast paced moving. You got to keep up. Me at my age, I'm 60 years old and I'm, I'm like, okay, you know, um, just, learning, trying to stay consistent in the procedures of the deli. There is this little notebook thing that they have 
that tells you, hey, this is how to make us Philly or how to make whatever. We don't even have time to look at that thing. So we got people telling us, oh, mix it all together and put it in the toaster. Oh, no, do that separate. Oh, no, press that button. Oh, do it this way. No, do it that way. Can we all agree on at least how to do it? Can we all be about the same? I mean, obviously, we temp it to make sure that it's cooked right. You know, can we all... Where do we get training anyway? Like, are we all getting the same training? Are we getting the correct training? We've got a lot of seniors there that have been in the deli forever, 10, 20, or more years. Um, You know, I, I don't believe I could probably train somebody being there a year and a half. Does that even qualify me to train somebody? Have I been trained right? Am I doing things right? Or am I doing it all wrong? So anyway, I'm just saying like, you know, working in a deli, from what I've learned in the past year and a half is, it's just so fast paced. And if we can all agree, at least on some things and keeping our mouths shut, I mean, me especially, you know, people are busy. They don't want to hear, you know, we don't want to get scolded for doing things either. We go in the back to get meat. Don't take all the meat or take more than one. Like, do we need to be told that? You know, the cheese, hurry up, get out. Don't take all my cheese. We don't want to be scolded when we yell, you know, yell for help. A lot of people yell for help. Hey, we need help over here. Hey, somebody, this, that, and the other doing that, you know, being told, hey, good job. You're calling out for help. Good job. And then one guy goes, stop yelling. Nah, 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 nah. And it's like, look, dude, okay, if you you can't handle it, you know, that's your problem, okay? When people do need help, they're not panicking. They do need help. And so they're calling out for help. You know, are we supposed to do that? Or are we supposed to just not? ask for help, which is it, you know, we just need to all kind of agree on the same thing. And I think the supervisors need to make sure that we all know the same thing. We're all told and trained the same way. That would help a lot. That guy doesn't need to yell at me for asking for help. Maybe did he not get trained? Is this, he's just irritated you know, I don't like her, so I'm going to bitch at her or whatever. Uh, you know, what's with the training or lack of, you know, what should we be doing? Should we be calling for help if we need it? No, we can't call for help. This guy's going to bitch at us for it. Whatever the case is, I mean, f- for the most part, when we do call for help, we are going to be a bit loud so we can be heard over all the noise, all the music. People are in the back. You need to be loud enough for them to hear you too. So on and so forth. I mean, for the most part, they do say, good job, good job. And then they say to us five points or something, you know, say hi to the people, connect with the people, the customers, you know, offer them these different sale things. You know, they do kind of remind us of these things. Um, Maybe we need to be reminded by the supervisors, hey, you're doing a good job. Are you, maybe do we need to be tested? But when do the supervisors have five minutes to even do that? Uh, how are you doing with the knife? Do you run the knife across it or do you, you know, okay, we prefer that. Okay, that's all part of the training and the reinforcement of the trainings. Perhaps we need reinforcement of the trainings, you know, every month or every two months or something, how are we doing? Um, instead of some coworker or somebody yelling at us, you're not doing it right. You know, this is how I was taught. And then we've got like, well, somebody told me differently. We're getting five different ways to do something. We, you know, they can't settle. They can't, you know, everything we do is wrong. Is that the case? You know, well, somebody does it this way. So I'm doing it this way. 
And then you're coming along and tell me that I'm not supposed to do it that way. Which way is it then? I mean, and then the supervisors, you know, they're all over the place doing things. They're putting out fires left and right, so to speak. So to speak, not actual fires in a deli. But they are running all over the place. And, you know, I myself, you know, if I'm doing my job correctly, that's less for them to worry about. And all of us, you know, that's less for them to worry about. Um, they do have to worry about everything in that department and make sure everything's going right and everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. We've got one girl in there. She's like turbo. She's running all over the place. My heart would explode if I moved that fast, but she's young and healthy and athletic. So she can run and run and run and run and run. That poor girl is running so much, so hard in the deli. She is working so hard. And I kind of feel bad for her, but, you know, can we help her out? I mean, are we, wh why does she have to run around so much? You know, because there's maybe not enough people or, or something. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. And that girl's putting in so much energy. She's probably doing the work of three people. That young girl, she's running around like a lot. You know, she's a real good person, real smart and everything, and a hard worker, and uh, she really helps everybody out. Like, you can ask her anything, and she's not going to be rude to you or nothing. But, I mean, she's not always there either. You know, she's off doing something else. Some of us, a lot of us are part-time, some of us are full-time. Some of us are hardly there. We've got one guy that comes in once every three months and then tells us how to do our job and then is gone for three months. Oh, don't don't stop slicing and weigh it now. You know, even though, like, I've been doing it that way for a long time and he's hardly ever there. One day he comes in. Oh, weigh it my way. Do it this way. And then he goes and he's gone for three months. And I'm like, for crying out loud, I can't even freaking weigh this thing to see where I stand on the, you know... I, oh, do three or four more slices, then you're good. Well, how am I really supposed to know that unless I weigh the freaking thing? He may know because maybe he's been doing it 30 years, but then he doesn't even come in like once every three months or something. And then, oh my God. So it's, he's kind of goofy too sometimes. He's just trying to charm the ladies or something. I don't know. Just give them their freaking food, man. Don't try to charm them. Just help the people. Don't. <laughs> don't try to be all funny or something i don't know it's kind of goofy it's a personality thing but kind of makes us cringe a little bit <laughs> if we're next to the guy and we hear all this we're all so busy we are all so busy so you know if we can at least agree on some things and this is oh my god this is 30 minutes almost this is gonna take forever to watch okay i'm sorry you guys I am going on and on and on, but I just wanted to put this out there. Whoever watches it, whatever, you know. Okay, thanks for hanging in with me and letting me talk about things. Okay, I hope this helps people. I don't know, you know, but thanks for watching. Okay, bye.